So now that I'm in front of you, I feel underdressed. What a beautiful dress is this. Yeah, every now and again, it's nice to make an effort. I was humiliated, though, when I turned up and I realized we're wearing the exact same outfit. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> This is mortifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really Jorah, to the event, uh, what can we as individuals do to keep peace better in our world or to keep it in general? Well, I think that it would all start at home, you know? I mean, so often we, we judge and we think that peace should happen elsewhere, but really, you know, first and foremost, we should be finding peace in ourselves. And then finding a, somewhere, some place to be of service. Because once you start doing that, you realize the value and the soulfulness in that. So, uh, you, you know, but it's really kind of finding that passion where you can make a difference or where you can just contribute. And, and to be honest, I need to do more of it myself. But whenever I do do it, I'm like, it's, it's a very powerful experience. This being, Mary's Meals being the perfect example. Yeah, you, you are quite significantly involved in Mary Meals. Why are you doing so? What, what, what is the reason behind? The strong reason behind it? Um, because I love the, the, the simplicity and yet the genius of, of this organization and how it works, how fast it's grown, the incredible impact that it has on the communities that it works with. It started off feeding 200 kids a day in Malawi and it's already at 1.6 million. Um, and when you visit those schools and those communities, you see the difference it makes and their pride and their integrity, their gratitude, their excitement, the kids, their performance at school, their, their attendance at school. It's really incredible how, how it works because it's also not just a gifting program. It gets the whole community involved. They have to pitch up as well. It's a partnership. You know, so so it, it's a lot. It's very involved. So you'll be honored today. What does it mean to you? It's wonderful. I mean, to be honest, when I first got the invitation, I thought that I was presenting Magnus, which I was very happy with. And then when I found out I was getting honored, I was like, no, 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 no. This should not be my award. This should be Magnus's award because this is the man who, who has every day sweat, blood and tears and, 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 and to, to bring this to fruition, who's pushed this program. For me, I've just been riding on his coattails, you know, so, but I'll take it, you know. I lost all my awards in the fire last year in Malibu, so this is going to be the only thing that I have now.